Okay, in this video, we want to talk about separable equations. Okay, so we basically want to find the um, antiderivative of these differential equations. Okay, and we talked about how most of the differential equations is very hard to symbolically find the, uh, the antiderivative of. But the differential equations of this form, so it has a name, and it's called first order differential equation, first order. So the derivative is equal to um, g is a function of x times by f is a function of x. First order differential equation. If it's in this form, we can find the antiderivative. So let me just uh, manipulate this uh, symbol the way it is right now to give you a general idea how to approach these problems. Okay, so remember that y is equal to f at x. So we want to collect right, the dy and f at x together. So we get the following, 1 over f at x dy. Okay, and the g at x and dx we want to be together. So g at x dx. Okay, so um, at this point, at this point, we want to uh, essentially integrate both sides. Okay, so I'm going to replace the f at x with y. g is a function of x dx. So we can say this. Because this is, these are the first es essential basic steps to get uh, the antiderivative of differential equation, the first order differential equation. So let's do an example. Okay, so we have a division here, but you know that division, right? Division can be essentially thought of as a multiplication like this, multiplied by 1 over y squared. Okay, so let's collect the y's together and the x together. And we have a y squared dy. Okay, so y squared combined with dy is going to equal to x squared dx. Okay, let's find the antiderivative of both sides, and we get 1 over 3y cubed. And here we get 1 over 3x um, cubed. And of course, there's, there's going to be some constant. Okay. I mean, what's if you're confused about the constant, why it's only on the right side but not on the left side? Really, you know, there's an intermediate step where um, you do get a constant on both sides, like this. Okay. And basically, I brought this over, and I would get c2 minus c1 with the constants. So I'm, la I'm saying the c is essentially the c2 minus c1. Okay, so let's isolate y. First of all, multiply everything by 3. Okay. And we can cubic root both sides. We get cubic root of x cubed plus, uh, oops, I forgot to multiply this by 3. So 3c. So instead of writing 3c, right, we can just let 3c equal to k, and you can replace that with k. Okay. So that's the uh, equation uh, which will satisfy the original differential equation. Okay, this one here, that right there. Okay, just like the normal antiderivatives, if you're given an initial value, then you can find the value of k. So suppose that um, if you plug in x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. That's the initial value for this function. Right, then what is the actual equation? Right, so we just have to replace the y with uh, 2 and x with 0. Okay, then that will lead to k being equal to 8. Right, so if, the, if this was the initial value, our equation is the cubic root of x cubed plus 8.